Oh, okay. So look, we're, we're looking for uh, three male persons who have done a number of armed robberies on the south side of Brisbane, and uh, we're requesting on the public uh, to look on Facebook. We've got quite good uh, uh, CCTV footage of uh, an armed robbery that was committed on early hours of Monday morning, the 21st of March, at the Lucky Star Tavern. Uh, we believe these three male persons are also involved in the armed robbery at the Sunnybank Hotel, which was also, uh, uh, that armed robbery was also committed at about 1am on uh, Saturday the 19th of March. Uh, we believe the offenders responsible for these armed robberies are using a white Camry sedan and, uh, as I said, if members of the public could look at the CCTV um, and they know of the description of these people or the vehicle with us and the contact time stop. Why is it so concerning? Why the robbery is so uh, As you can see on the footage of the CCTV, they are uh, very aggressive in their manner. They're armed with uh, heavy uh, sawn off uh, weapons. Uh, a number of uh, people, occupants in these premises, have been threatened, and uh, that's why we're so concerned. Could they do it again? We believe they could do it again. Uh, they've demonstrated uh, uh, what they've done on two occasions, at least, that we're aware of. There could be more offences they've committed, and uh, certainly they could do it again. What happens if you approach them? Oh, sorry, if they approach you. Uh, yeah, we, we've sent out a message to a lot of uh, licensed premises just to be uh, vigilant on lock-up time, particularly uh, these people have targeted places that have poker machines uh, and obviously cash on premises. So uh, they are very aggressive and we just ask people to be compliant with their wishes to save any injuries. So far we've been fortunate not to have any injuries. Is there any luck um, linking this the uh, we don't believe it's linked at this stage, but we're still looking at those. Any offences, similar offences we're looking at. Any indication the defendants live in the area? Uh, we're not sure at this stage where they actually live. If they were approached, would they have any indication in sort of, um, you know, going a bit overboard and sort of um, getting the police involved? I believe they could show uh, violence, as I said, they've used verbal threats, actions with firearms. So I think uh, if people did approach them, they could use violence towards them. I suppose it's particularly concerned that there's so many people around that they're, they're, not, they're not afraid of groups of people or, or customers being in stores or anything, are they? Not... They don't appear to be so, and they seem to be quite random attacks. In saying that, they were right at the end of the, in their closing time, if you like, but in saying that, there are a number of staff still on the premises, yeah. Professional? Uh, quite professional, yeah. You see, again, on the footage that they're covered up, um, they've obviously trying to avoid uh, any detection, so I'd say they're somewhat professional, yeah. Do you have a clear detection of uh, the weapons for these sawn-off shotguns? Oh, we believe one's a sawn-off uh, shotgun, uh, and perhaps a 22 involved, yes. Sawn-off 22 caliber rifle.